We're going to be taking a look at the area between two curves. You have the background information here. Let's look at example one. Right, producing a graph. X cubed plus eight is going to look something like this. X plus eight, they have the same y-intercept. When x is zero, same y-intercept. X plus eight, the linear function is going to come in something like this. Looks like there's two regions, but it specifically tells us to find the area of the region in the first quadrant. So that would require that we know these two x coordinates of these points of intersection. We've already established that they share the same y-intercept, so 0, 8 is this ordered pair. On your calculator, you could find the intersection between these two graphs, and it would be 1, 9. To find the area in this region right in here, okay, we're going to do the integral. Left x is 0, right x is 1. From 0 to 1, we're going to integrate the top function, which is x plus 8, minus the bottom function. The function that's on bottom is the cube. With respect to x, because we're going to put vertical rectangles in here. All right, this can be done easily without a calculator. I've distributed. I can cancel the eights. A little bit of cleanup. Okay. Reverse power rule. Plug in 1, you're going to get a half minus a fourth. When you plug in 0, you just get minus a 0. So the calculation is reduced to this. A half minus a fourth is a fourth. All right, example 2. All right, it's just as important to be able to find the area as it is to be able to find the, the region um, without a calculator. So right here. I have x equals 0. Okay, that's the y-axis. Then I have uh, x equals 2. Okay, then we're given y equals 0. It's the x-axis. So, so far I have three, um, I guess, three restraints. Okay, and then this graph right here is an exponential. Uh, put in 0 for x. e to the 0 is 1. So its y-intercept is here. And uh, it's like e to the x. It probably just has slower growth, something like this. So based on these four given constraints, it looks like I'm talking about this region right in here, finding this area. All right, so we know this is 0, 1, in case we need to know it. Okay, And this point of intersection, although I'm not sure, that's 2. If I plug in 2 for x here, I get e to the first. So this point is 2 comma e. I'm not sure I'm going to need it, but it's there. All right, to find the area in this region, left x is 0, right x is 2. Is two. Top curve minus the bottom curve. Do you have to show that? No. Easy to integrate without a calculator. Mm -hmm. U substitution. All right, I need to bring in a half here, and I'll pull out a two. Converting to a u uh, integral, I have e to the u du. But we're going to integrate and put back in the x. That's why we're not making an adjustment on the exponents here. 
However, if you want to, you could. If you wanted to adjust these exponents by plugging in 0 here and 2 here for x, and then staying with u, that's fine too. I'm just going to go all the way back to x. So 2 times the antiderivative e to the x over 2, evaluated from 0 to 2. Plug in 2, e to the first minus e to the 0. 2 times quantity e minus 1. Okay, example 3. All right, there's a calculator question. Find the area of R, the region in the first quadrant, <clears throat> closed by these graphs. So the trig function looks something like this. It's going to be challenging. And the exponential function looks something like this. So if you were to graph each of these on your calculator, you would see some kind of intersection in quadrant one that appears to, to look like this. Okay, so we're finding the area. So we need to know what this x-coordinate is, and as, fact, as a matter of fact, it's going to be zero. And if you were to plug zero in for x here and do the calculations, you would get one. If you plug zero in for x here, do the calculations, you'd get 1. So 0, 1 is the point they have in common. Now, this one was a little more tricky. Um, it's not a very friendly decimal. The x-coordinate was 1.1356925. And I'm going to put a comma here, and underneath here I'm going to put the y-coordinate. 1.7644628. And as it turns out, through the course of our work with this problem, we didn't need the Y coordinate, but you just never know. If it's a free response question, I would take the time to label the point. All right, something else you can do, as mentioned previously, is you can give each of these a name if you want. So I'm just going to call this R, and I'll call this S. That way I don't have to drag these decimals through. All right, let's find the area. Left x, 0. Right x is r. If you're afraid you might you know, make a mistake or you're not comfortable with that, don't do it. Okay, top curve is the trig function. And the bottom function is uh, the exponential. Had this upper limit not been this crazy decimal, had it been a nice integer, okay, likely this would have been a no calculator question because finding the antiderivative of each of these three terms is not difficult using u substitution. However, with that ugly upper limit, this is the answer that results. I encourage you to type that into Y1, do the integration, and see if you can match this, because keystrokes are important, too. Okay, we're going to continue finding volumes, so we're going to go to the next note card, note card 45. 